Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Blastronaut. It is a, uh, ooh, interesting. So we have a new game. So what are any of these? Max players, can you go above four? Oh shit, that's cool. Can I actually load my old save? I think I can. Interesting, but we're gonna start a new game. So we can do new beginning. Do we wanna do, um... I don't even know how you unlock any of these. Do we want to do deep treasures and just see what happens? Sure. I'm going to turn off multiplayer. I don't want anybody to join me ever. Uh, oh, is build up one of those where you're trying to reach the surface? Shit, I think I might want to try that. Anyway, we're going to go with... Oh, can I not... Can I not change the seed? There we go. Name is... Oh, name is Adorable Possum. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Hi. Uh, nope. I have no idea what building up actually entails. But it's fine. I don't need to do the, uh, tutorial. Uh, let's see. Though, it does look like I start with some things. So, no signals. Ouch. Alright. Oh, I can't, whoa. I can boost. So can we build. I don't remember what any of this shit does. That's fine. Okay, and that's gold for fuel. Stones for that. Let's look around. We've got one more thing. So, we can build machines and blocks. Primitive furnace. Furnace small. Oh no, this is this is a separate thing. So I don't I don't know what these are. Uh, let's see. So in that case, I guess we might as well just chuck a bunch in, because we're going to need all of that stuff anyway, I'm sure. And we can get rock pretty quick. So if you guys haven't seen this game before, I... Oh, right. Oh, I've got the just exploded goop. Huh. That's dangerous. Uh, it is a mining... Uh, mining exploration game. If you've ever played... Uh, is this... That's the other one. This is the one that bounces. I don't know if this one's any good. Uh, uh, incremental mining exploration game, kind of like Terraria or Starbound or anything like that, but it's a little bit more like kind of lighthearted and goofy and quick, uh, which is nice. Like if you want to uh, do like a short play uh, sandbox mining game, this is probably one of the shorter ones, I think. I could be wrong. Oh, I do actually take damage. Well then. I guess I gotta keep that in mind. There's other better mining tools than this one, in my opinion. But still. Oh, that music. I remember the music being good. Okay, nope. Okay. I'm gonna go away, away from that for a second. What was tab? Oh! We have reputation with people. We can also see all of our different stats, which is useful. Uh, let's go back over to this and snag. How do we, okay, there we go. Now I've got it. I'm gonna look around because there's usually stuff to grab here. Okay, so here's reputation for people. Uh, cripes. Those are kind of expensive. Just G for that one. What about you? Or we have no, we don't have enough stone. There's the self, go get more stone. I don't actually know how I'm supposed to get stone with this. Unless stone is just this stuff. Could be. Okay. I guess we just want to make sure that we don't blow ourselves the heck up here. The damage isn't going to be that bad. But still. Is this mineable stone? I have no idea. Or you know that thousand stone I started with? Maybe I kind of needed to conserve that. <laughs> oh, that is very quickly becoming poss the possible reality. Or it's this stuff down here. 
Oh no, there it is. We just didn't have a whole lot of mineable stone in the area. Look, you just gotta find the right Hanna-Barbera target and then you're good. So what is the end goal? You know, I'm not sure. Uh, so I only played the demo for this a couple months ago. Enjoyed it, but there wasn't a whole lot uh, to it at the time. Ooh, this is a uh, cool whatever the hell it is. I'm gonna go take a look at it, but I don't think it can do anything with it at the time being. I can fix it for 50, but ouch. Yeah, let's just find some more stone. Ow. I deserve everything that happens to me. But that's okay. Grab mining bits. Uh, blast more? Okay, and see what we got. Now, if I remember right, the crabs aren't dangerous. I don't even know if they're violent. I know you can kill them. You can get, like, fuel or something off of them, but I'm not going to go out of my way for it. They're kind of cute in their own, like, non-functional manner. Okay, let's just get, get out of here. There we go. Oh, is my healthy, uh, the orange pips. That's probably what it is. Yeah, let's, let's go back to those shopping terminals. I want to replace this weapon with something a little bit more, um, controlled. Because as it stands, I currently have, like, no means of controlling anything. Oh, here we go. Uh, well, I have none of those resources. But these rockets apparently will take different resources and give me various things back. So... It'll also give me money, but then, like, a reward at the end. That's... Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, sadly, I don't have much for stone. I can really work with. Because, yeah, these require some things that I have never even seen. Let's go the other direction, see if I can find any mineable rock. Actually, there's a bunch here. I like this kind of space western music. I'm sure there's a better way of describing it, but... You know, playing all these sci-fi games that have that western slant... has actually been kind of really fun lately. I need to go back and play a couple more that I can think of just because, I don't know, is it, is the concept of a space western, you know, would I give, should I give credit to Firefly for really coining the, um, the aesthetic, the subgenre, I guess, or are there, have there been other, like, media sources of, uh, let's see. Other media sources of space westerns that I don't know of. Because to my knowledge, Firefly was like the first. Ow. Cowboy Bebop? Ooh. I kind of? Yeah, I, I guess it makes sense. Because they absolutely call him a space cowboy. Or that they sign off. You know, see you next time. Or see you later, space cowboy. Yeah, you might be... You might be right on that. Okay, I'm just gonna time you out because that's freaking weird, man. Oh, it's right-click to also use the jetpack. That's good to know. I don't know if I can take falling damage in here. What if old Pulp Sci-Fi was like that, too? Huh. That, I guess I'd have to ask my dad. I never really, really read a whole lot of uh, pulp sci-fi novels. Nor did I pay attention too much to, like, media. Like, I think Star Wars really was largely my, my first exposure to sci-fi media. And I rarely go back before that when it comes to watching, like, sci-fi media. I don't know why. I think it's just... It kind of set the stage for how the movies were handled. 
or maybe not like how movies were handled, but like presentation of technology and races and tone. You know, prior to that, everything kind of had this like weird Star Trek-y feel for me. Like whenever I go back to watch any old sci-fi thing, it just kind of has this like unrefined element to it. I don't want to give, like, S Star Wars too much credit. Okay, snag that. I don't think we need any more plates. So what can we make? Uh, let's see. So block polished, if I want to make some blocks. Research station. That sounds vaguely useful. Uh, maybe not. Blocks, polished machine, platforms. Here we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a research station down. I have no idea what those even do. Okay, oh, it's that thing, of course, duh. What else can we make? Furnace, small. Do I, like, not have the resources for it? No, it looks like I do. I also have an antenna, but I can't do anything with any of that. Why is it saying bang? I don't know why it's locked. Oh, because I have to unlock I have to unlock them via money. Got it. These still have no signal. Maybe I need the antenna for that. I can also put these resources away. We can sell some of these. Got it. Okay, so let's just see if there's anything over here that lets me sell any of my bits. What do you need? Ten gears. Don't think I can do that. Oh, what do we got over here first? Looks like this might just be empty wilderness, but you never know. Oh, this... Another one of these. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's 100 gold for a fuel upgrade, if I want to go that direction. And two, 200 gold for what seems to be kind of a rocket launcher. And we also have jetpack upgrades. So I think first and foremost, let's go back, let's sell half the rocks we've got. Or all of the rocks we've got, and then we can get some other things. Because I want to try that, that rocket launcher looking gun. And we might as well see if I can unlock some, like, greater assembly bits. I forget the names, but there are three distinct eras of sci-fi. 40s to 70s, 70s to 2000s, and now 2000s till now. First was categorized by goofiness and more idealism and going batshit crazy with science. Star Wars, Alien Star Trek all slowed that down and made it more human. Then the early 2000s started... Uh, striking a mix of both eras. I do feel like it hasn't been as, like, fun. But maybe that's just me. Well, that's a lot of money. It's good. I kind of need it. Oh, those, those are mushrooms. That's not helpful. Gotta refuel. And then I don't think we have anything that heals me here, do we? I don't think we need a container. But I think we might need that. If we go back to machines, what did I just research? I have no idea. Because, yeah, what we want is the furnace small and the assembler. And I have just researched uh, something questionable. I don't know. Whatever, we'll come back later. I'll figure it out. Also, uh, another build thing over there. Uh, David Graeber has a super interesting talk on YouTube about the death of sci-fi post-2000s. Or post-90s. Interesting. Yeah, feel free to uh, 
I don't know, link that in Discord for me to watch later. Okay, snag that, and I think I can grab the next jetpack level. Rad. Oh, beautiful. Is this gun. It needs to cool down, but I can... I don't think I can kill myself anymore. And I can destroy all of this junk in my way. I gotta try this multiplayer at some point. I feel like that... Oh. Can still hurt self pretty badly, though. Do not drop rocks on head. I'm a little curious what happens when I die, because I don't think I've died yet in this game. But as long as I'm not dropping rock on head, I think we're okay. Let's just go down. Okay, and yep, the crabs are not deadly. Let's see. Wreck all this business for a moment. I would, I would love to play more Terraria likes like this, where they they really go out of their way to make mining enjoyable. Like, let me just wreck stuff, make it wild. Okay, I really have to be careful shooting upwards like that. Ooh, see some frameworks over there. Whoops. But no, no base stuff. I don't know if I can ever increase the uh, effectiveness of this. It was a bit of a downer, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Do I want to go back up? Now that I've got four crystals and see if I can find anything that heals me. I think that's a plan. Okay, so I can actually do this now, but I do not have either of those. But the rewards are good. What about this? No, we don't have either of those. I like the trading things. Those actually seem really nice. Like, once we get going, we can probably make quite a profit and get resources that are hard to gain by turning them in. Okay, I was going to check this. Yep, nope, too expensive. We still don't have any gears. Do any of these heal me? I don't think any of them do. I could refine some more of those. We don't have any good selling terminals. Uh, the one thing I could maybe look for would be like the antenna. But that requires gears and whatever that other resource is that I do not have. So, never mind. I guess we're just going to go down and hope for the best. Because sometimes there are underground bases that you can snag. And one of these might have some healing in it. Or, you know, we just die. And then we just figure out what the consequences of death are. Boy, that that's a weird phrase to say, but I mean, it makes perfect sense in a video game. Plus, we also need crystals. Hey, there we go. This looks, this looks like something. Okay. Well, that's a fuel upgrade. We have a door and nothing else. However, there's more crystals down below, so hell yeah. What do we think? Do we want to just go laterally for a while? See what we can get? Can I open these? Yes. It just takes a lot of destruction. 
Wow, that's a durable set of blast doors. Please be gone. Screw it. Can I kill the floor? Nope. All right. Wow that the wall is so durable when the, or that stuff is so durable when the upper walls are not. But, hey, it works for me. I'll just scoot ahead. Yeah, we'll just scoot sideways for a little while. Eventually we'll have the right selling terminals. And can make some real progress here. But I think for now, I guess I've just got to dig. The other question is... Well. Exploded him. Oh, is that radiation? Is that... That might actually be something I have to be aware of. Blows a little bit because I think we just found our next, um... We found a, a decent location. Let's see. Also looks like that dark rock can be harvested. I think it's separate from my usual. Yeah, it's Norgar. Whatever the hell Norgar is. Okay. Dang. Oh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> Am I back? Okay, so it looks like I just lose all of the stuff in my... in my inventory. But that might just be it. I get to keep all my tools, and I immediately drop another rock on my head. Mm, yeah, that's fun. The whole game reminds me of mining with dynamite in Terraria, which, frankly, I wouldn't even be surprised if that isn't the inspiration for what it is. Because I, I definitely use dynamite in TNT more often than I should have, especially when I was, like, modding, or not modding the game, but, you know. Whenever I get bored of Terraria, I just go absolutely ham-bone with high explosives. Much to my chagrin, I then realized that, oh, Oh, backpacks over here. Uh, you can't do friendly fire, so I'd end up doing all this this extra uh, blasting and like freaking out my friends, only for them to realize that the only person that can be harmed with TNT spam is m yourself. Oops. Okay. Question: Do I get rid of the spore clouds? if I get rid of the green grasses. I don't think so. And I'm not seeing a good entry point for this, this little like shopping base. So I guess I'm just going to go laterally around it and see if I can find a good entry point or something. There's like a little bit of something... A little bit of something over here. Okay. Question. Whoa! Well then. That's a thing that can happen, apparently. Uh, let's see. Apparently when you kill those big green guys, they turn into bomb. News to me. Uh, let's see, can I scoot through? No. Let's just... 
destroy this. Okay. All the way down. There we go. Well, this is easy to get back to my backpack, mostly. Huh. Okay, there's, there's definitely something... Wait, what is this blue thing? Oh. Looks like it was fuel. Or something of the sort. Okay, I'm gonna try and scoop my head in here. Okay, there we go. Got it. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. There goes that entire base. And all the effort I put into getting in there. Ooh. I see some stairs over here. I'm gonna give it an ogle. I can. Okay, there is definitely something there. Are you anything that I can interact with? No. Can I break it? Yes. I can get substance. Whatever that means. Okay, snag all these bits. Then probably get back up to the surface. We've got some things to sell and stuff to work with, some of which might actually be valuable. Also, we should probably just get more rock. Because I went on this entire thing to figure out how to heal, and it turns out death heals you. So... I don't know. Poor developer is going to have to escape the uh, the shadow of Terraria. I actually, I think this game is very compatible with playing Terraria, to be honest. Oh, those boxes are healing. That, oh, that's how I dropped a rock on my head earlier and had healed. There we go. Just kind of scoot our way back. Keep looking for these pockets here. Because the, the more I can snag, the better. Because I keep picking up GMER, which honestly, every time I see that, I'm like, oh, I picked up some more gamer. And then I have to like groan at myself because... Okay, let's see if there's anything here that I can actually find. Yup. This, yes. Oh, damn it. Uh, okay, I got a couple of minutes to go find as much iron as I possibly can. Time, time for some disaster mining. Okay. There we go. Don't have too much else here. Across the streams wander. Too late. Okay. Only need eight more. That's a good sign. I keep getting my head stuck on things. That, her, hat, okay. Here's another one. Ow, my face. Oh, here's a bunch. Oh, 
Wait, Ferort site? Huh. I was reading that originally as Ferrisite, but Ferort site. Hello, Avac. Can I see your Ferorts? Are they cute today? <laughs> Avac just chimes in. Why? It's not unlikely that he can chime in here, but still. Okay. Launch. Alright, cool. So that gets us a lot of money and some substance, which is good. Uh, let's see. What does this have? So this just has, has the usual machines, so not helpful. And that lets me spend money for fuel upgrade and resources that I, yeah, can't do anything with those. Okay, uh, so, here's the earth. Round, uh, oh, I could actually buy the weird SMG thing. Huh. Alright. That seems pretty good. So here's the next question. Still no signal, and this thing looks... Busted. Oh, I can sell mushrooms for money. Let's not do too much of that, because we might actually need them for things. Gamer is so much more common. Okay, so let's let's go back to this. Uh, let's see, those are containers. Research whatever this is. Yeah, wonder if you played the Calamity mod for Terraria. I have. Um, I don't know what this is. Uh, but so I played Calamity quite a while ago. I've been meaning to go back at some point. Oh, assembler. But I keep waiting for Terraria 1.0 to be like officially out. Okay, so what can we do with this? So we can now make these things. How many do we need? Because the gears take two of those. Okay, we might be able to do this. How many do you need? 50 and an additional 20. I do not have that much. But at least we can start making them. Okay, so this beam's a little bit more destructive than I thought it would be. It's probably fine. We go the other way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I only need 10 gears to fix this thing up. So let's see what that does, because that might unlock whatever these no, no signal things are. There we go. Let's work on that. Has Terraria have been in development for longer than even Factorio? I think so, yes. The one thing I will say about Fact... Um, the, only, the one thing I will say about Terraria is it hasn't been like 100% active development. They keep kind of working on other things and then coming back for a little bit more. But yeah, Terraria got its official 1.0, yeah, back in like 2017. It was years ago. And mostly I've been waiting for workshop support to get added uh, to 1.4. Because mods are kind of important for me. I'm going to need some money. I guess let's uh, go harvest. Ah, yeah, that's a problem. Okay, good gun. As far as I can tell, no knockback. Okay, no, there is some knockback. Not much, but it's there. But it's easier to control than the other one. It's very destructive. There we go. I'm still a little injured. So this is very good for mining upwards and laterally. It's going to be a bit difficult to do 
other directions, but maybe that's fine. And there's enough health just kind of sitting around. I don't have much to worry about. Okay, so we have another irradiated facility. There we go. Give me that good stuff. Okay, so what are what are you? The sales terminals. Ow. Okay, so not that good. I was hoping for some slightly more impactful things. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's make those resources. Uh, there's got to be a, a radiation protection suit that I can get access to. There we go. And I know you can also get, like, blast resistance and a couple other things. But again, no idea how to do that. Wow, that was awkward. Nope. Jump first, then fly. A nice lateral boost. Big benefit here, I will say, is I can also use this to um, refuel and not spend money there. I don't think it's as cost effective as I'd like it to be. But at least I'd, this way I'd have to pay for nothing. Okay. Now big problem is... I have to feather that jetpack. If I want to get down here comfortably. Which... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, there's my stuff back. Oh, do I get less money back? No, I don't think so. I think that was all of the money that I had when I died. But yeah, a little bit of rock resistance, a little bit of blast resistance would be huge. But I don't know where to get those upgrades. And this beam absolutely can overheat. It's just much harder. What is the point of this game? Uh, incremental mining, grabbing upgrades, better guns, uh, making hella money for reasons. There we go. And despite the risks presented by this weapon, I do like it better than the past two. It's just, yeah, very risky business, comparatively. Okay. Take those out, take this out, grab all the goodies. Right. Scoot up here. Yeah, hopefully we can find a, a selling terminal that specifically, ow. Uh, that specifically will let me sell the, uh, the refined versions of some of these resources. Ooh. I guess if I just kind of zigzag, I'm safe. Uh, seems a little bit more dangerous. Let's not do that. Okay, I'm not seeing any healing crystals around here. Okay. Last a lot of these. There we go. How much gamer do we have? Plenty. Oops. But I will always take more. If I can. There we go. Cause yeah, we want we want a ton of resources so I can get back up there, get a little bit more research done. 
and figure out what the advanced lab has. Maybe. If we're lucky. There's some healing. I gotta make sure I don't destroy these. I don't actually know if I can do that. Yeah. There we go. Press head into rock, then fire gun. Beautiful. Okay. So what do you got? Because it... Uh, 100 plants. Do I have 100 plant? No, I got 23 plant. What about this one? Uh, 80 and 50. What? Okay, it looks like it just swapped. Is what happened there. That was confusing. Uh, it's three by fuel. Rip money, damn. Okay, I don't think I have anything else here. So, sure. We'll go back to the other lab. Okay, well. Grab some healing while we're here. I wonder if there's like an efficient way to gather plants. Or even like farm them. Oh, is this active? Still no signal. Right, because we need a thousand gold for signal? Ah, screw it. We'll get more mushrooms at some point. Signal emitted. Satellite dish online. Good, we have a job for you. Job accepted. Craft the... Oh. There's side quest terminals. Okay. Oh, shoot. That requires rock. Which I have pretty successfully sold off for large quantities of money. But... Turns out I need that for smelting. Oops. Oh well. Only a temporary setback. Because there's tons of resources around. Okay. Let's just kind of blast through. I'm... I mean, I guess we could also sell mushrooms en masse. Those seem common enough. Nag those. Blast that. Ooh. Yeah, maybe don't drop rock on head. Every time I do that, it goes poorly for me. Uh, kind of scoot around. Because I might as well get some more ferrite. Ow? That was rude. Really? Yeah. I deserve everything that is currently happening to me. However, I will say, refueling is useless. Death... Death seems far more convenient than running out of gas. Which is a thing... Is a thing. Okay. Snag, blast, and then delete. Yeah, we could also use some more crystals. I mean, more resources in general. <laughs> like, that's the sad part. And it's like, yes, I need more crystals, but I also need more stone, but I also need more everything. That's how these games work. I'm sure once we get, we truly get rolling, it won't be bad. And honestly, with that uh, side quest terminal, if I get money just for making things, we can double dip pretty hard. So that's exactly what I want to do. Uh, let's see. What happens if you run out of fuel in the caves and can't get out on foot? Uh, death.
There we go. I mean, you don't, you don't have to die, but it's convenient to do so. Okay. Blast our way back out here. Hopefully we can make like teleporters or something. Okay, do we wanna do do we wanna do this? Not the best, but it's worth it. Okay. So I'm gonna snag that. I'm gonna pick up every quest. Oh! Okay. It looks like uh, we can only pick one of these at a time. So that's a slight problem, but not a huge one. Okay. Make as much of this as we can. Oh, that's a bunch. Okay. I, think... I mean, we might as well have both of these going. Okay, snag that. At some point, I'll probably tear these up and move them around. <clears throat> Gotten bit by a ton of mosquitoes over the last couple of days. And, uh... Yeah, it turns out some of them scab over and then I just itch one. Oof. Okay, so we're done with that quest. Uh, start researching whatever that is. Uh, so what do you want? Collect 60 crystal. Uh, you know what? That's that's in the realm of possibility. Let's see what these are. Because that's the advanced research station. Oh! Actually, this quest is kind of perfect. I still want to make the furnace small. But... Apparently, we can't research that. And I have to go find crystals. Uh, do we refuel? Yeah, that's not that expensive. Here's the question. Is this quest... Oh, no. Job finished. Okay. I'm gonna go back for the... The safety beam. It was a little slower than this one. But it lets me dig straight down. Which I kind of need. I think it was over here. Might have been the other direction. Okay. Wow, these people have a very specific wants of things that I don't know what those are. I guess I've got four of whatever the slimy bits are, but not the weird carapaces. But yeah, main issue with this singular beam is it's a little slower at mining. But, uh, at least I don't die when shooting my feet. Okay, there's a bunch of crystal. And some health. We'll snag it. I currently do not feel like dying. I say as I then proceed to bonk rock into head. Okay. And we might as well snag some of this stuff as I go by. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of crystal. <sighs> Shit, that stuff's too hard. Maybe I kind of don't have too much choice. Oh, wow. Kill the shit out of the crabs. And also realize that I do not have enough oomph to get through some of these rocks. Oh, baby.
Oh, can I? No, those plants are decorative. Oh, and those rocks are explosive. I don't think I can collect those. Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh, no. This is my new spawn point. I did not actually want that. Well, at least we can get some rambis. Okay, whatever the hell Rambiz is, we got some of it. Hmm. Okay, do not send face through that. Okay, looks like it can get in here. What are these little robots? I do not know. Okay, so I can sell gold rocks for 52, buy some fuel, sell that, and sell that. I got some money. I kind of prefer not to sell too much if I can. Ooh, mother load. Actually, it looks like we've just left the ultra hard biome behind briefly. Okay. Has wandered dug too, too deep. Find out next episode. Well, I mean, you say that. It was actually a pretty good time for me to uh, probably call it here. Blastronaut is interesting. It's definitely more meditative and less goal-focused uh, than some of the other sandbox games I've played. Um, you know, you're mostly just here to slowly increment up. Uh, it almost kind of reminds me of uh, Planet Crafter. In its own little way. There we go. Which, you know, I'm kind of fine with that. I liked Planet Crafter a fair bit. I think that one was a little bit more on the uh, watch number get big, whereas this one's a little bit more exploratory focused. Uh, admittedly, a lot of the exploration seems to be just going through very remarkably similar biomes over and over again to just gather as many resources as you can. Strip mine the planet, leave nothing left. Let's see. But honestly, I don't know. I like it. It's charming. I think this is the kind of game that would be an absolute blast horror. Uh, with a group of, group of friends to make things go a little faster. You know, explore a little harder, find what you need. And maybe if quests are synced up, having multiple people tackling the same goal simultaneously would really speed things along. And also it would just be a lot goofier. And as far as I can tell, there's no there's no player cap. You can just stack as many people as you want. Uh, for better and worse, maybe. How are we on rep? 30. But yeah, there's resist, signal, aliens eliminated, money earned. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, so with all that said, Blastronaut's going to be available in a couple of days. Uh, the demo just got updated a couple of days ago, and... It'll be out in five days. So if you guys want to give this a shot now, the demo is just free and available to play. And then I don't think it's a... I have no idea what it's going to cost when it comes out. Let me double check. Sometimes it says, sometimes it does not. But either way, I don't know. It's charming. And once again, I think it would be like really fun. Wow, that was quick. I think it would be really fun if you had like a, a crew to just completely destroy things. Uh, with together. I'm thinking like Power Wash Simulator, but slightly more chaotic. Either way, all that said, let's move on to the next. Can I... Yes, I can't save. Hopefully it just saves automatically.